السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته شيخ وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته شيخ my question is about um, Tajweed um, when, I, when I read the Quran normally at home Alhamdulillah I'm able to follow the Tajweed but when I'm praying behind the Imam so for example when I go to the sujood and the, between the two prostrations the dua of Allah maghfirli warhamni wahdini wajbuni waafni warzukni warfani so I'm unable to extend the Tajweed or Tabi'i so the ya yeah, is not I'm not able to extend it so much so I I read that if the, 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 the Tajweed is not perfect, the words change the meaning and this renders the prayer invalid. So I wanted to ask, like, how do I different? How do I make sure that the Tajweed is like? Do I have to make sure that the Tajweed has to be perfect during the prayer if I'm praying fast? Jazakallah khair. Well, Jazak. First of all, Tajweed is to beautify your recitation and to pronounce the letters correctly. And if you do this in a quick fashion, that would do the job. What you've heard is partially correct when the meaning changes. But if you say, This is valid. You don't have to say, You just say it. Likewise, Al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Yawm al-Dini, Iyaka, Na'abudu, Iyaka, Nasta'een. You don't have to say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. This is Tajweed, but do I have to say it? No, it's not a must. You do not have to recite the Quran with Tajweed. It's highly recommended, but it's not a must. You don't have to recite your Athkar. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim, Rabbi Ghfirli, Warhamni, Wa'afini. In Tajweed, just pronounce it normally and move on without paying attention to it.